My business coach, believe it or not, is 84 years old. And I think I think he stays so young and he stays so sharp because he is so passionate about coaching people. And we're talking about a coach that's he's coached professional musicians. He's coached professional football coaches, like big name coaches. And he's my coach. <laughs> he's 84 years old. So I believe that if you want to live a long life, you have to continue to learn and you have to continue to have purpose. And I, that's so important. I'm so glad you said that, Bo. And you know what? Whatever money you are paying him, coach, mentor, it's paying you many times back. If you're not really growing, if you're not, your mindset is not right, if you really need some help from outside, yeah. that's going to bring you 100 times better returns. That is well worth the investment. It's never an expense, I'd say that, right? Oh, it's an investment. You got to yeah. be willing to invest. Well, good morning, good morning, good morning, Vinny Chopra and Bo Extine, Vinny and Bo Show. We come live to you. Well, live. We record it now and then we set it out loud, you know, live premiere it on 9 a.m. Pacific every every Friday morning. Hi, Bo. How are you, brother? Doing well. I'm watching a new uh, documentary on Netflix, and that's why I wanted to talk to you about it today. It was called, uh, it's based on the book Blue Zones. And, uh -huh. and basically, there are certain blue zones in throughout the world where yeah. people have longer life expectancies. Mm -hmm. And it was a, it, I'm not a reader. I like to listen or I like to watch. So, so the, the documentary on Netflix is really good. And it's really not so much diet driven. I mean, yes, you want to eat unprocessed natural foods, but it's not like, hey, I'm going to be on a, on a keto diet or a carnivore diet or this. It's just general, like, healthy, non-processed foods. And the other big thing that I saw, the, the different blue zones, you know, in, in Okinawa, Japan, and there was one city in California, believe it or not. It was people that had strong community and people that had purpose. That's why people lived longer. Like, there's such a sense of loneliness and not purpose in people's lives. So I, I found it very interesting. Uh, and, and also the big thing was is movement. A lot of the blue zones, people walked everywhere. And like Vinny's doing right now is walking. And so we're, we're, we're becoming so sedentary in America and people aren't getting up and walking every morning. I know I go and work out every morning, but I sit for the next 10 or 12 hours at my desk like I'm doing right now. But I also think it's important, like Vinny, you know, he's not, he's going to make time. He's going to do the show, but he's also going to be walking because he needs to get his walk in daily which is so critical. So I thought Blue Zone was, was a good takeaway. Thank you. The, Thank the, you. The power. Yeah. Bo, I know uh, my family, we all went to Netherlands this year. And you just reminded me, people in Netherlands, Holland, Amsterdam, were so, so fit. The reason was they have over a million bikes. They ride on the bicycle. Like a lot of people like to walk and so forth. You know, right there in Amsterdam, small city. It's a big city, airport-wise, but it's small city. You could walk, actually, and we were walking. We never used any Uber or anything. We'll walk for three, three hours, or three, three miles, sorry, you know, to get to restaurants and things like that. But the key thing I wanted to mention was it's so important that we really be mobile. We should be walking. Walking is a great exercise. I like to walk every day, seven days a week, about three miles, two and a half to three miles. And uh, just like you're exercising, which is very good. Then the other thing which I would like to say, a hack, please turn it on. If you have an iWatch, uh, Apple Watch, it asks you to stand up and move. Stand up and move after a certain time. So that's a good one too. You're right, you know. And the people, relationships, what you're talking is so important. Having a purpose in life is so important. I could be just withering away. I just turned 71, right? But my goal is for the next 10 years to be healthier. My health is number one now in my mind. Wealth, health is wealth, we call always, right? 
So wealth comes second, third, fourth maybe now because it's the health, it's the relationships, it's making memories with the family, it's the nice talks I have with my wife, married for 41 years, 43 years, sorry. And, you know, and the kids, whenever we spend time with Neil and Monica, that's the best time ever for us, really. That's great. My business coach, believe it or not, is 84 years old. And I think I think he stays so young and he stays so sharp because he is so passionate about coaching people. And we're talking about a coach that's he's coached professional musicians. Mm -hmm. He's coached professional football coaches, like big name coaches. And he's my coach. <laughs> he's 84 years old. Mm -hmm. But I know that I keep him sharp. And that's why he enjoys coaching me because I keep him sharp. Of course, I pay a lot of money for him to coach me. Yeah. But I get value out of it. But I also know that he loves coaching me because for him, it's not about necessarily the money. It's about, you know, keeping your mind active and doing well for the for society. So it's a pretty interesting dynamic having an old coach. And he's really sharp. Like most 85, 84 year olds, mm -hmm. they slow down. He's still on top of it. And he's very, very strategic the way he thinks. So I believe that if you want to live a long life, you have to continue to learn and you have to continue to have purpose. I think I, that's so important. I'm so glad you said that, Bo. And you know what? Whatever money you are paying him, coach, mentor, it's paying you many times back. That's the trouble. Many of us, we feed our uh, mouth or stomach, let's say that, right? And we go to drinking and this and having a nice dinner for $300, $400, you know, sometime when we go with the family. But what we are coming to paying an hour, $500 or $1,000 per hour, we say, no, 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 I don't want to do it. You know, and that is a mistake. That's a big mistake in people's mind because if you're not really growing, if you're not, your mindset is not right, if you really need some help from outside, that's going to bring you 100 times better returns. That is well worth the investment. It's never an expense, I say that, right? Oh, it's an investment. You got to be uh, willing to invest and you got to continue. Uh, I was just listening. I've been I've been following some new YouTubers that are really really sharp. This guy named Dan Ko K O E. Mm -hmm. He's a phenomenal mind, and there's so much knowledge out there that like when you're just you know walking or whatever, you could be listening to your podcast. Mm -hmm. And so my downtime I spend learning. My wife thinks I'm crazy because every night before I go to bed, I'm mm -hmm. listening to an uh, audible audible book or some kind of podcast to enhance the brain. So I, I suggest it. And that's that's a point in, point in, in case as Vinny is doing his morning walk. And so that's what brought up the conversation. Yeah. Uh, I, I do want to transition the conversation, which is which is more in the lending world, which I find very interesting is there is a lot, a lot of bridge loans that are about to are expiring and a lot of multifamily operators right now. Um, that are trying to reposition. I was just talking to my good friend who's a big commercial um, banker for North Mark and, uh, you know, Mark. And uh, anyways, it, it's, it's interesting to see because there's a lot of there's a lot of workouts happening right now. And so that's going to be that's going to be resilience on the operator side to keep the deals from, you know, having to do it to, to, to put it on the market and sell it uh, beforehand. And a lot of after after uh, repercussions of COVID like COVID slow down uh eviction process right because now what was taking four weeks to evict is taking seven months to evict somebody so it's not necessarily the operators but it's what's happened because of the pandemic and now the rate increases so it's a very interesting time out there right now what are your thoughts no you are so right brother i just saw a bulletin 1.15 trillion with a T, trillion dollar is going to hit the ceiling in office space, office space, because so many offices in the major metros have been empty for 
months and months and maybe even after COVID. So they were just not able to survive now. And that's going to hit the ceiling. So that's going to be in a big one, plus multifamily, definitely. We have seen some in the Texas area. As you know, majority of the purchases, if I see number-wise, have been in Texas and also Florida and in Virginia and uh, North Carolina, South Carolina. So those people who took the bridge loans, Bo, you know, and they were kind of, you know, looking at value adds, which we always have done. And then you say, okay, I'm going to refinance into a permanent debt. So that's where the trouble is because the increase in rents and the value add, the NOIs have not reached those points. And then the interest rate has sky, skyrocketed. It's not 3.5, 4.5%, 7%, 6.75%. So you're right. No, it's going to be a pretty tough time, you know, coming up here for lots of operators, you know. I was just listening to another gentleman I just recently started uh, following, and he wrote a book in 2016 called Key Person of Influence. And anyway, what he was talking about is is being the Rolexes of the world. Not so much the Rolexes, but his point was is that Rolex customer service sucks. Their watches don't really change, but they're oversubscribed, meaning they have so much demand they can keep doing that because of what they built. So I was taking that to mind, and it's it's if you're oversubscribed, that means you're in the need. So that's where you want to be. So whatever you do with your business is you want more demand than supply, and your price keeps on going up. So I was I I, I think that's a great great um, idea, and it really goes to show, you know, how do you get how do you oversubscribe to whatever you're doing, right? How do you oversubscribe to investors that want to come and put money in your deals? How do, how, how do I oversubscribe where I have more people booking calls than I can actually do their loans or, or help them buy a business? So I think that's really, you know, a great a concept. So in uncertain economic times, the people that are oversubscribed don't, it doesn't matter to them because if you're oversubscribed, Good times, bad times, you have got so much deal flow, so much opportunity that the, the economy isn't going to, because there's too many people out there that are Debbie Downers and they're like, oh, well, economy sucks. There's no spread on these deals. I can't buy any real estate. I can't buy, find any businesses to buy or whatever. There's, if you're, whatever you do, if you're oversubscribed, it doesn't matter up, down, side, you're going to be a winner. So true, so true, Bo. And you know, to be oversubscribed when you were just talking about it, we got to be taking care of clients and customers. They are the king. So how you build with the present clients that you have been working with, or you're also increasing because sometimes there is attrition, of course, you know, some of the clients might be going into with the competition and all. So you got to really keep your game fresh, cutting edge, communication is the key also, I find. you got to make sure that you're letting them know what these uncertain times could mean for them or there will be opportunity. See, it's half full, half empty glass, right? So somebody's uh, bad choices of buying at a high level, just like in stock market, today stock is down, stocks are down. Yesterday, they were way up, you know? So some people cashed out. I did cash out <laughs> quite a bit yesterday, but then this morning I got up and I bought again, you know, so some solid stocks, which are 2.5% down today, 2.5. Even some stocks were down 4.7. I'm not giving any advice, by the way, to anybody. Everybody's different. But the key thing is we got to keep in mind, we take care of our base of clients and customers and get referrals from them and be, you know, always giving your very best to them so that they keep on coming. They keep on feeling that you are doing the right thing for them in good times or bad times. That's a good point, Vinny. And I, in my lending business, I've done a terrible job with my past clients. And that's the, that's where the revenue is, right? The revenue for me is my past clients, but staying in front of them, keeping them abreast of what's going on in the real estate, in the lending fields. And so Early on in my career, I never was good at that. As I get a little bit wiser now, because in, 
it's easier for me to get a referral or a repeat customer than it is to get somebody cold off the streets to do business with me. And so, yeah, and just servicing the client. The new customer, somebody told me, it's like $10,000. I don't know who was that person I was interviewing. They said, Vinny, do you know in certain businesses, it costs $10,000 to get a new client? And they might make 50000 commission or whatever, or 40000 which is well worth it. But you're so right. Keeping the old customers happy is the real key. I mean, you know, I'm so fortunate. I thank God with my syndications, we have, what, 530, you know, very solid investors and so forth who have believed in us, you know, and out of the 40 syndications, we only had trouble with two, two of them, which we, they didn't lose all the money at all. You know, they lost a little bit, but we gave cash flows. But when the market turned, you know, we were able to sell it at a little lower price than we expected. But you're right. I think keeping communication is so important and taking care of them. You know, you just brought up something, brother. Can I say that? Uh, we spend about ten to 14000 every year. We've been doing it for the last 16 years. Thanksgiving, it's coming up. It's coming up pretty soon. Monica, our daughter, we send these Harry and David uh, boxes, tier boxes, like four or five, six boxes, which are tiered together on the top, and it's got chocolates and other things and all to every client, every customer. And many of our happy investors, they send us pictures in their office that they open it up or their children open it up. So that's an amazing thing. I'm not saying everybody should do it, but please consider giving thank you to your customers because they will remember you. And also communicate with your picture in your email. I will say that again. Last 45 years, I've kept my smiling picture in my email all the time because people like to see just the name they may not associate with, but your picture they will. And I have even mentioned that, you know, in my previous life, when I was doing motivation speaking fundraising, I would see my clients once a year, literally once a year. And it was like when I walked in their office, they say, hello, Vinny, because they got every month a newsletter with my picture on it. So that way it keeps them abreast of who you are, what's happening when you show up. When you do Zoom or anything, or you show up at their office, they'll remember you. Yeah, you know, and that's why I love the power of video. If you use your cell phone, here's a tip. I was just on the, I just spent an hour on a call on a Zoom with a guy that speaks on stage with Tony Robbins. He does, um, his name's Todd Hartley, and he's, he's all about closing more sales through video. And so he does a lot. He texts people personalized videos, you know, so it's just me here sending, I'm, I'm going to record, uh, Hey Vinny, thank you so much for investing in our, in our latest project. It really means the world to me that you've been investing with us for the last five years. And we have a new project, uh, a golf resort we want to buy. And we'd love to have you on board to invest in this golf resort that we're going to do. It's a really awesome business. I'd love to set up a zoom call for next month. Would you be interested? Talk to you soon. Boom. I just, right? Like shooting videos and I can text it to you. People engage with video. And so just pick up the phone. I challenge everybody to pick up the phone and send five video text messages to people. It could just be family members today, just to practice. It could be friends, business colleagues. But that's what Todd Hartley does. And I'm, I'm, I'm fortunate enough, one of the companies I work with, he's doing some coaching. So I'm always learning and i already know through my youtube channel right video direct this direct so if you want to take it one step further Vinny should be sending a couple key investors just a personalized message just saying hey i'm taking my daily walk right now and you you popped up in my mind i just wanted to say hi johnny um it's you know i'm excited for 2024 can you believe we're in our, our last quarter of 2023 about to be Thanksgiving and Halloween, right? Like it's easy, but we don't do this stuff. And so th that's because I'm this meeting, I'm good at doing YouTube and content. So are you, Vinny? 
but we're probably not doing these direct these direct video messages to people. And I think if the, we when it's start I doing that, and just that. see what the results uh, are. Yeah, I'm gonna. I appreciate that. Oh my gosh, I've been intrigued by it many times, even a couple of years back. And Loom, right? Loom is another uh, software, but you could do it on iPhone. It's so easy. You can go to the person's like texting, you know, and just press over there in the picture, just put the camera setting, and you could just do it right there and send. I mean, you don't even have to save that. It's going to be saved under their content in their text. No, thank you so much for reminding us again. Well, and I need to do it, brother. I mean, you know, why not to even just send one to your wife or loved one or your son or daughter today? Go ahead and do it because you want to get into a habit of doing three, four, five a day. Thank you, Bo. No. I need to do it. I, I'm going to actually write me a note. Oh, can I say something? What If I want to make a habit of anything, my hack is to go ahead and make a meeting to yourself on the iPhone, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, whatever it is, and repeat it every day. So I'll say, Vinny, be sure to send five of your top customers a video today, short video in text today. And it will repeat for next one month, let's say, you know, every day. So that way it becomes a habit. Thank you, Bo. Yeah. I like that. No, that's great. Yesterday I shot a video. It was, it was um, a friend's birthday, right? And instead of me sending uh -huh. a text, happy birthday, mm -hmm. personalized video. 30 seconds. Uh -huh. Took me two seconds, right? It's, I didn't have to think about it. Uh -huh. Happy birthday. Da, 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 da. Miss you. Enjoy your, enjoy uh -huh. your birthday. Right? Oh my God, Linda, touch, Linda, just, it, it, Linda just had it, you know, and I sent her a text. It was so uh, inhuman. <laughs> it's not the right word, but you know, it was so cold. I just texted her. I was looking for a graphic to put it, but you gave me a great idea. I think every birthday, I'm going to do a personal message. Just like our good friend uh, Eric sends everybody a handwritten card, right? Yes. And it sticks out in your mind. Like Eric... Yeah. Eric sent me four handwritten cards this year, you know, for I help him out in a lot of different things. Yeah. But, yes. you know, um, but the point is, is that I, re and like you, he sent you card too. So we remember <laughs> people that do this kind of stuff. So and yes. you don't even have to do a handwritten card. Send a personalized video to mm -hmm. relatives, friends, business colleagues, whoever. It's, it's easy, it's free, and it's going to get you the highest ROI imaginable. So... That's pretty awesome. Yes, 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 yes. And in last words, I would say there are some great hacks we talked about today. Again, customers are the best people. Customers are gold. Our team members have gold. Our, you know, like residents in our thing, uh, in our, uh, you know, investors, when I say customers, investors, and also the people who reside in our communities are gold. And we should come at the bottom. It's like inverted triangle. Let's communicate. Let's put the vision and let's make those habits of using videos. I think that's amazing. And also happiness. Let's just have goals and, uh, you know, uh, the purpose in life with your coach, like you said, 84 years of age and you have learned so much. So invest in yourself. I love it. I love it. Well, everybody, we'll see you on the next episode. And, uh, yeah, we'll you know, see you. Everybody. <laughs>
July 9.30 every Friday. Every Friday. How to take your business to the next level.